In this problem, we're going to learn how to calculate percent solids recovery from a sludge dewatering operation using a belt press. Well, let's go to the board and see how to work this problem. Well, the problem reads, a two meter belt press is being used to dewater anaerobically digested sludge. And then they tell us that the total solids is 3.8%. And it's pumping at a rate of 75 gallons per minute. It is operated 6.5 hours per day. The feed sludge is conditioned with a polymer solution and then fed to the press. A 25 cubic yard truck full, a level load, of sludge cake with 2 point, or excuse me, 20.5% total solids and a bulk density of 65.8 pounds per cubic foot is hauled away at the end of each day. They want us to calculate the percent solids recovery. Well, as always, we want to pull out our known and our unknown information because there's a lot going on here. And as we do that, I want you to just think about what's happening here. We have a, a belt press where we have sludge going to it. We're removing the water and then we're hauling that away uh, to the landfill. Well, they told us that they want us to calculate the percent solids recovery. So that's our unknown. We're looking for the percent recovery. So the first part of this problem is going to be to calculate how many pounds of dry sludge are processed. Well, they tell, or told us that 3.8% total solids is the concentration of the sludge going to the press and that the pump pumps at a rate of 75 gallons a minute. So let's go ahead and write that down. Our total solids are 3.8% and the pumping rate is 75 gallons per minute. They also told us that we're running our pump 6.5 hours per day. So using the number of hours per day times the gallons per minute, we can calculate how many pounds of dry sludge are being processed each day. And that should in turn go into this 25 cubic yard truck. Well, we converted our six and a half hours per day to minutes because our pumping rate is in gallons per minute. So by multiplying the 6.5 by 60, we find that this pump operates for 390 minutes per day. So to find our gallons or total gallons of sludge pumped, we're going to multiply our pumping rate times the time. So when we do that, we plug in our 75 gallons per minute and multiply it by the 390 minutes per day that that pump runs. So we see that during this shift or during a day, we process 29,250 gallons. So that's how much sludge is pumped. That's how much sludge goes to the belt press to be processed. So we can take our 29,250 gallons and now calculate how many pounds of dry sludge are being processed. And we do that by using our formula that says pounds equals our gallons pumped times the total solids times 8.34. So when we plug in our 29,250 gallons and our percent total solids, 0 0.038. And remember, when you use percents, we want to use them in their decimal form. So the total solids of 3.8% is 0 0.038 and then we multiply by the 8.34. And when we do that, we see that we processed 9,270 dry pounds of sludge. So that 9,270 pounds of sludge is how much was sent to the belt press in the day. So we're gonna take that, that's gonna be our total. We're gonna see how much actually gets hauled away or how much gets recovered. And in doing that, we're going to use what they gave us and do a unit conversion. So the sludge that gets hauled away, they told us that it fills a truck that's 25 cubic yards. So the question tells us that we have 25 cubic yards of this sludge. And then they also told us um, the percent total solids and the bulk density. But we need to get our cubic yards into cubic feet because that's what the bulk density was given to us in is cubic feet. So the unit conversion to go between cubic yards and cubic feet is one cubic yard is 27 cubic feet. So that's why I've loaded that down here in the matrix. Well, now that we know that, we can use our 
unit conversion or equivalent that they gave us. For every cubic foot of sludge, it's 65.8 pounds wet. So that's the weight of the wet sludge in the truck. Well, then they also told us that our sludge was 20.5% total solids. So we enter that in decimal form, so it becomes 0 0.205 pounds dry. So for every wet pound, since it's 20.5% total solids, there's 0 0.205 pounds dry. Well, now our units have all canceled out and we're ready to do the math here. And when we do that, we see that we're hauling away at the end of this day, 9,105 dry pounds of sludge. So now we've calculated how much went and how much was sent to the press. We can use these two numbers and divide one by the other. We'll divide the 9,105 by our 9,270. And when we do that, we see that we recovered 98.2% of the total solids sent to the belt press. And that, my friend, is how this problem is solved.